Hey guys, Chris Mufu here. Welcome back to a new video. Um, in today's video, we're just gonna be talking about Ubuntu, basic Ubuntu. How do you pronounce that? Anyway, Ubuntu, basically. So anyway, Ubuntu 11.4 was out quite some time. So, what was I had a conversation with my friends a few years ago, and I was talking about Ubuntu. So I decided to go and you know try it out a bit, and it's actually quite a cool, cool operating uh, system. So I'm gonna show you how to get it now. Um, I will be doing a video in about a week's time about installing Ubuntu into your computer and stuff, but for now let me just try to get it. So first you need a couple of things. Number one, you need this program called Power ISO. So go to this website in the uh, description box, powerisocom slash download HDM. And it's actually a, you can actually get a free copy of it before you purchase it, but I think there's some restrictions to it, I don't really know. But of course there are certain methods to... Um, Let's not go into that. So basically you can just uh, click on any of these downloads, download site 1, download site 2, and you will download your computer. After that, you just click on the, e the exe file to install it, and then you will have Power ISO um, over here. Now, what you have to do is you want to go and get a copy of Ubuntu. To do that, uh, go to www.ubuntu. Is it how do you spell it? Ubuntu.com, I think. Is that how you spell it? Anyway, yeah, it will be in the uh, description box. Basically, go to Ubuntu and click on downloads. Now, uh, once you're in the download page, once it loads, okay, what you have to do is actually go to over to download and no, not this one. Okay, I just click on try it from a CD. Or, so, yeah, okay, what if, I'll put this link in the description box instead of the one previously. Then you click on alternative downloads. Don't, don't download from here, okay? Let me just show you why. Let's say we download from here and look at this. It's a 685 MB file. And it will probably take about an hour plus plus to actually finish downloading the whole thing. So why not we don't do that? Instead, go to alternative downloads, click on that, and scroll. Come on, okay. And scroll all the way down to until you see BitTorrent over here. Now, once you have BitTorrent, depending on whether you have AMD or Intel processor, uh, click on any one of these. I would recommend uh, clicking on desktop, for download for desktop, or I, I really don't want alternate and server is, but I usually go with desktop. Now, uh, see, so this is for AMD and this is for Intel processor. So click on it, either one you want. When you click on it, um, it'll download a torrent file. Now, to actually run this torrent, you need another program. I'm sure most of you have this. It's called uTorrent. Um, once again, it'll be in the download and it's a huge button. You go to uTorrent.com, obviously free download, click on it, install it, done. Once you have the torrent file, double click on it. So, uh, uTorrent automatically open up and you will see. Um, Ubuntu 11.4 desktop i386 or AMD depending on what you have. Click OK and it will start downloading. Alright, so I redownload it. I'm not going to do it again. So once that download is over, um, you should be able to see it over here. Let's delete that. Um, okay, by the way, Ubuntu is not illegal. Even though it's downloaded from a torrent, torrent just helps you download faster. It's not illegal, okay? So once you are here, Ubuntu. Now, it should automatically be linked to Power ISO. If it's not, just right click on this. Go to open with, choose default program, and you should be able to see power ISO here. And hit OK. Yeah, OK. Hit OK, and power ISO should start up. Um, you should be able to see this, and you should be able to check that it's 684 MB, 97%. So, all you have to do is actually just put it in a regular CD ROM, a regular 700 M, uh, 700 MB CD ROM and 700 MB and this CD ROM is actually really cheap nowadays, so it's not that expensive. So just dump in a CD ROM, uh, go to Tools, Tools, Burn, um, and choose which uh, which CD ROM it is. So um, it usually should be drag D. So click on D uh, and select your CD and then click a burning speed and just click Burn. And there you have it. You're done. So that's how to get Ubuntu into a disk and insert it into your computer. Oh, of course, if you wanted to, you can actually put it into a thumb drive, but that's a little more complicated, and I'll be making another video on that. So I guess this is a little Ubuntu series, and I'm going to show you how to install it into your computer, I guess, next week or so. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a nice day.